Mark and Paulette, the travelers in Mexico, and today we are here with four very close friends. <laughs> <laughs> Can't get any tighter on the couch. <laughs> Okay guys, so we're going to have a little round table here and the first question we're going to go through is why did we decide to move to Mexico? So Gina, you want to? Uh, I guess I'll start off and I will say that, I'm not going to lie, part of it was financial reasons. Let's just be clear. Mark was been getting very close to retirement and he was going to be getting social security and if you live in the United States, you know you cannot live on your social security. You need a pension too. She, she's politely calling me old. Well, <laughs> yeah. but I mean that was part of it. So yeah. there, was, there was a financial urgency, mm -hmm. but then the other part of it was is that we had been traveling to Mexico for about seven years on vacations, and we really liked the people mm -hmm. and the culture. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. And, and, and we were reaching the point we didn't like the people in the culture on the other side of the world. Yeah. <laughs> also, <laughs> also, also very true. Yeah. Yeah. So, that's true. Yeah. You guys. So, you wanna why go? did we move um, or choose Mexico? Like, quality of life. Um, she's going to be retiring before me and yes. so just part of our financial plan, um, you know, was a part of it as well. Um, however, I am Mexican and my family is from Mexico, so for me it was also just mm -hmm. coming full circle and coming back to my roots. Okay. Very nice. I've been begging her for 16 years. So however, <laughs> that's in the list. <laughs> yeah. And finally she said yes. She, but she wanted to do it first. Well, one more time. So you, but you wanted to move first. Mm -hmm. Oh, I uh, always wanted to yeah. move. For 16 years, 16 years okay. she talked about moving to Mexico. Mexico. And then finally you convinced right. her to do and it. And then just everything <laughs> I can started, right. started yeah. you know, looking into what? the future and, and yeah, it made and sense. Animation. Dude, it's a no-brainer. That's yeah. exactly what I told her. <laughs> <laughs> and the day I kept resisting because I just don't like to say yes too easily. You know. And then one day she was like, it's a no-brainer. Yeah. And it really was. <laughs> and she had people me there. People are nice here. People are nice here. Yeah. Uh, right. I love the community, the, you know, the family mm -hmm. culture that we don't have there anymore. So now, of course, financially, but the, what I always loved since I was a kid is the people. I yeah. feel at home yeah. with the people. Yeah. So. Mm -hmm. Agreed. Okay. So it it took you a little while to get her on board with with the idea. Sixteen years. Sixteen mm -hmm. years. Yeah. <laughs> that's, that's, that's that is something to be said for never giving up. That's oh, right. kidding. Yeah, yeah. No kidding. Yeah. Yeah. No kidding. It's it's so kidding. you guys, let's hear it. Yeah, Mark. Okay, so we. Um, Paulette was already basically he retired, and I was still working, um, and we. Paulette was really the driving force behind moving abroad. I mean, I was, she didn't take much convinc, or I didn't take much convincing. I was pretty much on board with it immediately. Um, there were days when I would come home and I would, and she would say, we're leaving the country on Tuesday. <laughs> okay. Give your notice. Yeah. We're I, out of here. I work for the local government. It's going to take a little longer than that. But, oh, yes. um, so finally that day came when the, with the, when the math worked out right in terms of income and things like that and it, the time was just right to, to go ahead and pull the trigger on that. Um, but we, we also looked at Spain, Portugal, we went to Ecuador a couple of times, right, twice. came to Mexico in 2018, absolutely fell in love and from then on it, it was on, it yeah. was just a matter of time. And it was the same thing, we fell in love with the people, I mean yeah. it just stole our hearts yeah. you know so it's so hard when people have not been to mexico and they have no idea what we're talking mm -hmm. about right. they just don't understand they that. don't understand and they think that it's just mm -hmm. a lot of bad things happening here mm -hmm. my goodness if you only knew yeah. if you only knew the amount of family and community Shh. Mm -hmm. don't let the cat out of the yeah. bag yeah. we don't want everybody else coming yeah. down stay here stay there stay there don't move <laughs> But yeah, the people are something special here. Mm -hmm. yeah. I mean, when, when, when you see the number of people and when you go to any of the Hardines in, in the squares of people walking around holding hands, entire families, mm -hmm. people smile, kids are laughing and kids are playing. It is so heartwarming mm -hmm. to see that joy mm -hmm. that, that is felt through everybody that it, it is virtually impossible 
not to get caught up into that. Yep. Yeah. Yep. I mean that that good feeling just, boom. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know, and it's funny because even if you're coming here without kids or anything like that, but you see that it's out awesome. in public, it's awesome. Yeah. Exactly. And, and I think I think that it makes such a huge impression because you don't see it mm-hmm. in the United no, States. Yeah. Yes, just oh, walking yeah. down the street and right. every stranger, you know, greets you, yes. you know, well, acknowledges, yeah, yes, well, you know, yeah. is, good afternoon, good morning, mm-hmm. you don't see that over there. The thing yeah. is, we are all lucky though, too, if you think about it, because, I mean, it took you 16 years, all right, granted, <laughs> mm-hmm. but, I mean, at least you got convinced to want to do it after that long of a time, right? Mm-hmm. But, I mean, think about it, the people that really want to go and their spouse doesn't. Yeah. yeah. That's what that and it's end. not that I didn't want to. I mean, I grew up coming to Mexico, mm-hmm. you know, with family, and my family is from Mexico. Um, it, it's just that California, or the U.S., was all I knew. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And I just never imagined. And yeah. so then, mm-hmm. and even though she was always talking about it, I would just knock it down and didn't put thought into it. But once I've we started... I've never been in this country, she always told me, I've never Okay. Yeah, and once we started talking about the possibilities and what you know what it really meant, and then um, yeah, you know, and now when I'm walking, and I'm you know, and we're in Mexico City, I'm looking at these buildings, and I think about my grandma, and yeah, I'm looking true. at it through her eyes, mm-hmm. and it, it's just you know, but our timing had to be right, you yeah. know. So, yeah. Um, but yeah, it it. There's something to that, I mean, because you're, you're walking on the ground that your relatives mm-hmm. walked on. Yeah. Yes. You know, yeah. Which is it's, pretty cool. It yeah. is. It's awesome. Yeah. yeah. It is, and it's really special, mm-hmm. and, and it, it, I just feel it in mm-hmm. here. Mm-hmm. And I think she had to make the trip last year, because we came last year to see my sister's wedding, mm-hmm. for her to realize what I've been trying to advise mm-hmm. her for years. It's not the more dangerous over there, the people mm-hmm. that want to kill your kidnapping. Yeah. Of course, it happens, but you have to be aware mm-hmm. where you're at. Right, right. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It happens in every country. Well, yeah. You yep. know? Um, but for the most, I'm, I'm feel safer here yeah. than I ever felt oh. yeah. for a long time. Me too. In That's true. Me too. A lot safer. Raise a hand. Who feels safer here? Feeling safer here. Yep. Honestly. Without a doubt. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yes. Now, th- that brings us to a, a second thing that's very interesting that, that really led to this entire sit down was the commitment that it takes mm. from both parties yeah. to make it work down here. Um, I know that, that with, you know, for Gina and I, it really is a sense that you are very reliant on your partner. Mm-hmm. You know, yes. you're, you're, if your spouse isn't in 100%, mm-hmm. you're in trouble. Yeah, and it's a problem. and you're gonna you're gonna be fighting a uphill war that you're gonna lose. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But if both parties are in and are looking for the adventure and are supportive of it, then you can find a great life down here. Yes. But you've got to buy in. Yeah, yeah. both. This isn't a matter of come now and maybe they'll grow to love it. No, no. no. Mm-hmm. Do some vacations. Do that with some vacation time. Mm-hmm. But don't make that move and hope that they're going to grow to love it because they may not mm-hmm. yeah and what are you going to do mm. so out of you two mark and gina who came to the decision that <laughs> we were that you were going to go to mexico did you just tell mark we're going to mexico no, no. she started it yeah i finished it it's okay. true i planted a okay. seed yeah, uh-huh. i planted a seed Did you ever see that movie inception where you plant a thought into someone's dream, Mm -hmm. okay? So I was watching videos on YouTube um, of Including these two? Yeah, I mean, I was watching all kinds of videos on YouTube of people doing it. Yes. Mm -hmm. And and I was like, I can't believe that. Look, this person over here broke down their expenses and this is all this is costing them. And and, Mm -hmm. all the things they were experiencing and seeing, like, I didn't know Mexico was as vastly beautiful yeah. As it is. Yeah. It's gorgeous. You know, I, I knew the tourist spots. I knew yeah. the Riviera Maya. I had no idea what the center of Mexico yeah. looked like. Well, and, and even in Riviera Maya, we never got more than a couple of miles off from the actual coastline right. for mm-hmm. the first five visits. And then it was finally we went to Chichen Itza and Valladolid, 
and were just blown away by even getting away from the coast it was an entirely different part of the peninsula and you're just like wow right yeah. but but the lesson learned there was like i'm learning all these things on youtube and he is not watching youtube but i'm sitting next to him watching youtube right. he's watching perry mason he's watching <laughs> the braves he's watching whatever and i'm over here youtubing it and I let it go. I just kept saying, boy, that'd be really cool. Look how affordable it is to live here. Look at what these people are doing. And then one day we're at a block party. And we had a Mexican neighbor. Next door neighbor. Next door neighbor. Carlos from, from Monterrey. And he tells Carlos, yeah, we're moving to Mexico. Well, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, wow. Wow. News to me. Wow. <laughs> we st even though I took the longest to be on board, because, mm -hmm. you know, in my life, things just weren't lined up to be able to do that yet, mm -hmm. you know? And, uh, but once, once the decision, you know, we're like, yeah, we're going to do this, I put it on fast forward. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Yeah. Like so right from now. there, I took over. Okay, that's my next question. Mm -hmm. How long from the time you decided did you make the move? Well, we had to wait about six months by the time. Wow. Because okay. we had to get our stuff together, sell the house, okay. get the um, the uh, appointment with the uh, American Council, okay. Mexican Council, mm -hmm. where that's okay. what took the longest. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then but it quit was, our jobs. <laughs> you know, and but, it was um, basically six months. Six from months. Wow. When the no brainer <laughs> comment, <laughs> maybe July seven months. To Je July, but oh, by during seven, yeah, we were gone. Months. Wow. Mm -hmm. And I think for us, it was about a year. Yeah. We, we came back. We were in Mexico 2018, 2019. We moved here. About well, yeah, a year later. About a year later. It was a little bit longer because I, I had a project that I was working on at work that I wanted to see through to completion. So right. we probably could have come a few months earlier. But yeah, I would say a lot, at least like a good year right. from the time you come to that decision to sell all your stuff, purge oh. all of your stuff. Oh, God. Um, yeah, that's, <laughs> we all know about that. The purge, right? Yeah. That, that's a nightmare, the purge. Yeah. 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 Because it takes, uh, for me, it didn't take any time at all. I could just get rid of my stuff and go. Oh, and my oh, stuff, too. You could get rid story. of mine. <laughs> no, I, think, well. I think me and Paulette are on the same page here. It was hard to let yeah. some things go. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah, we're sentimental hard. people, so yeah. that was hard. I had some really hard things. And that she was would, hard. she would sort through her stuff and sort through her stuff and decide, okay, this is going in the to-go tote, and then an hour later, I she put it back. Yes. Yes. She'd come that. out, we she'd that. come out and be annoyed with me because she mm -hmm. couldn't make a decision, and I would just tell her, look, if you take off for two and a half hours, I'll have it all taken care of. <laughs> right. <laughs> Which would then annoy her even more. <laughs> you know. That's yeah. funny. Yeah, but we ended true. up getting a small storage unit, like what we do, five Three feet? Three foot by five feet. Yeah. yeah, and then you guys got a five unit. Five by ten. Yeah. Okay, and then you guys? Five by fifteen. Five by fifteen. <laughs> Gina had to put 1,400 vinyl records in it. Ouch. No, <laughs> Gina didn't put them in there. Okay. Yeah. I can tell you who put them in there, and it wasn't Gina. <laughs> yeah. So if you yeah. had vinyl records, it also had to be an air-conditioned unit. Yes, oh, it, it was. Is. Oh. It is. Don't you have paintings in there, too? Uh, I do have a painting, um, you know, one of those impulse buys that Gina made off a cruise ship. Yeah. yeah. Alcohol oh, involved. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it always works. Yeah, yeah. Pre one of those is in there. Pre um, you got to take care of the brand go, right? You know. Yes. Yeah. Well, Actually, it, it's a Pinot. I have a Pinot. <laughs> After having a Pinot like wall. Anyway, issue. but <laughs> it, it, it was, it's also, you know, all the genealogy, the, the photo, family photographs, yes. the, the family history, the all the things, yeah. all the things stuff. that, that yes. teach you who you are mm -hmm. and, and where you came from. Yeah. All of that is in there. And, yeah. and my guitars. And your guitars. Yeah. You, you can see where the majority of the space is being taken. Up. Yes. Yeah. Well, I'm right here with Paulette. It's, it's the <laughs> sentimental things. It's hard to let those things go. Yeah, it is. And when you're considering a move like this, you've got to be in that mindset. Yeah, right. You can't carry yeah. all that with you. No, you Some can. people do. Some people do. I give them. Yeah. Uh, I don't, you know, and then those people are coming here cold. They're buying a house cold or whatever, and they're bringing all their stuff with them. Yeah. I can't imagine. I end, can't imagine who that would be. Yeah. No. <laughs> In the end, it's just stuff. It is. It is. Yeah. It is. Well, I you did know. save my mom's projector with the reels. I had to save that. Yeah. 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 I still have that in my house and my storage. Okay. 
pictures that my mom always wanted to put on an album. Right. I'm gonna finish it. See, that's sentimental. Yeah, yeah. I, have, I have stuff like that. I can't, and can I get rid of. It? I think this is something that a lot of people don't take into account. Mm. Is that, you know, yeah, the process of purging all of your stuff is it can be sentimental for some yes. people, mm -hmm. and it's a very difficult task. It is. It is. Very it can be. It is because it's like and you're getting rid of that part of your life. You well, are. I, yeah. I mean, if you've ever watched yeah. Hoarders, if you ever watched Hoarders, oh these God. people are yeah. are mentally paralyzed yeah. by yeah. their stuff, yeah. Yeah. and taking it away bad. from them is yeah. like it's like you're killing them inside. Yeah. Yeah. No. Right. So. And, and, and what and what made it easier is once you start. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. The process of getting rid of things. It's just fast. <laughs> it suddenly it, the next one is a little easier, easier and the next one's a little easier and when the deadline is ticking you suddenly start going oh it's the box what's it oh okay yeah in the dumpster you just throw I mean it, it don't just, even look yes, anymore yes. you just throw the whole thing away yeah, yes. Paulette did, it didn't get easier for Paulette Aww. I'll tell you that much that's Aww. why we had yeah but we only had a, a three by uh, five, so that's that we had to like it was yeah. that big. Yeah. I mean, I narrowed it down to that, that's yeah. right. and then we that's had it for a year, but, and then. But that we went was back two round trips from Morelia, Michoacan, Mexico, mm -hmm. uh, and then to like Tennessee and California and back. But we had to visit once. family and friends. It's and a long drive. Stuff. Yes. My, yeah. so, my uh, butt hurts just hearing about that <laughs> drive. God Are your knows. butt cheeks puckering? Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> So how long was it after you guys decided that you finally made the When move? I made the announcement, that was in... Was that October? It was October. That was October, because we always had the annual block party, and, and I told them in October, and then from there, we did the trip. We did the trip to move our things to storage. No, no, no. No, we did the trip to East Luma Headers. Oh, that was March. That February. was that was February, March, March. and that's we, when the very we did the very first video. And then from we East came Lomar, back. East so starting in March, mm -hmm. uh, we started doing the three piles: keep, store, toss. And then, when was the move to the storage unit? Well, then, 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 I mean, we were on the plan that that point where we were going to be going um, to Atlanta. We were going to go to the Atlanta consulate, and we were going to go in the fall, and then we were going to come down in February the next year. Yeah. And then we went to the beach, and when we got to, for a week with my mom that we used to do every year, and then when we got back, our two pets, who were very senior, very old, and and they suddenly once they got on the downhill path, they accelerated on the downhill it path. It was rapid. And, yeah. and so then suddenly we found ourselves at the end of May, beginning of June, where she's in a job that she absolutely hated, and we're going, why are, why we, are staying? we staying till next August to do this? We can just go ahead and do it. And so we literally, at the beginning of June, went, all right, three we're months. Gonna, we're gonna be out of here by the end of August. Three months. Mm -hmm. So three wow. months. So three well, months. three months. Wow. Three months to to basically get out of the house, get all okay. the stuff gone, and everything yeah. else. Make a drive to Kansas City, put the stuff in the storage because we wanted to put it someplace close to family. Wow. And so somebody was there in case something went wrong, and then we went to Kansas City, spent two months with my mom, mm -hmm. went to the Kansas City consulate, did our trip to South Dakota, and then November sixteenth. Right. Wow. Okay. So three months, six months a year. But it was, mm -hmm. but it was three months to get out of our house. Yeah. So we kind of did linger for two additional months with his mom in Kansas City. Mm -hmm. But we were out of our house and our stuff was gone. Three months. Yeah, but it was, it was basically almost a year, a little old, just a touch over a year from when we started actually saying this sitting that. No, I mean it started putting together the spreadsheet and everything else and going, okay, we're now going to look at doing, you know what cities are we going to do and that's when we formulated the whole four-year plan of doing the mexican tour because we couldn't look at any one spot and go this is this it. is it mm -hmm. you know and and so we decided that if we can't narrow it down then let's go and let's experience all these and so that's where the yeah. tour plan came mm -hmm. up with and 
it took a lot of work to figure that out because it took us three days just to figure out the schedule. Wow, that must be And even that's impressive. That's very impressive. Yeah. We're still tweaking it though. Yeah, we're, I mean, it's oh, still, yeah. it's still but fluid. But you need to start somewhere. But it's a but trip though because when we first started talking, we were not talking about right away. Yes. We're Good talking point. about three, four years, oh, yeah. mm-hmm. when that term oh, goes three to closer to 62. Years. And then we said, why are we going to wait for it? Yeah. What are we waiting for? Why not now? Yeah. yeah. Why not now? <laughs> yeah. What happened to that? Yeah. Anyway. Oh, I Especially know. considering that the minimum qualifications are going up. Oh, that, 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 that accelerated that things. That accelerated yeah. it because we, yeah. knew, yeah. we knew that the minimum um, financials were going up about 20% every Annually, year. And yep. actually, we did not know okay. that. All right. And so these guys kind of answered the next question I'm going to go into, so we'll leave it for the four of us. Where did you guys decide to live and why? First, we were considering Mexico City because that's where we went to see my sister last year. We fell in love with Mexico City, but then and my family and is family my is mom Mexico was born City. in Mexico City. Mm-hmm. My family, you know, we have history in Mexico City. So for me, I thought it would just only make sense to just bring it full circle and sure. But then yeah. we saw the videos of the earthquakes, and we <laughs> said, well, maybe that's not a great idea. So what should we? So then we thought about Medica, too humid, too hot. I can't handle it. You can't handle it. So, so then, then we, we did research yeah. to environmental. So mm-hmm. what what is it that we're looking for? Mm-hmm. You know, natural Safe. disasters, yeah. safety, weather. Um, so that's where that took us, and um, Querétaro kept coming to the top of our yes. uh, mm-hmm. of our list. You know, but we kept exploring other places and here and and Querétaro just kept coming to to the top of the list mm-hmm. and yeah. and Querétaro. Was. That's where it was. Yeah. Yeah. And. Um, it was you guys a own your home? Yes, we mm-hmm. were able to and look at a purchase a home. And how that. soon did you buy your home? We got within a month. <laughs> really? One month. Yes. I we, heard it was we, more like 10 minutes. No. <laughs> was, well, that's what we're driving around. <laughs> that, 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 was, that was the decision was done in 10 well, minutes. Yeah. No, it but took we a need, month to But that was part of our plan. Uh-huh. Yeah. You know, so to buy right away. Yes, to buy right away. that yeah, really yeah. was our plan to situate ourselves, get so comfortable. Better, yeah. mm-hmm. Yeah, nice. Yeah. Um, but it was part of the plan, so and it just worked out a lot better than what we thought. really it doesn't take too so thought. It we saw a picture of their house, and it's yeah. really, really yeah, cute. cute. It's really a lovely cute. home. Yeah. yeah. We're so, happy. Yeah. We're really happy. So you guys knew that you were just yeah. going to come to Mexico and land somewhere. Mm-hmm. And we wanted to land, yes. It. So then you, it was important to you to find that place right mm-hmm. away. Yes. Um, we Airbnb. We did Airbnb. We had an right. Airbnb for two months. Yes. Uh-huh. And so, um, <laughs> yeah, because yeah. you know, then you know, right. we needed time to find it, which it yeah. was two weeks mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. so. um, from when we got here, and then you know, the thirty okay, day so transaction. We so. came to call to Mexico. Well, I had it on January third, seven. We didn't come to Querétaro until January tenth. Mm-hmm. On January fifteen, we see the house. We tell Romy we want it. By February 24th, we were signing everything. No, we yeah. were in. We were in. No, by February 24th, we were in. That's yeah. incredible. Wow. That's yeah. incredible. So wow. we got really. So. Can we stop for just one moment? Yeah. Yeah, we're going to yeah, shut these. Yeah, you need oh, to do what that. So she? for Paulette and me, it's, we had kind of intended to try out a few different cities, um, spending a, you know, a length of time in each one of them. We didn't do the planning like Mark and Gina did about, you know, have, having a certain cities at certain times of um, we landed in Morelia. We stayed there for a year. We did some traveling from there. Um, San Luis was our next stop, and we pretty much fell in love with it but we, right away. San Luis Potosí was not on our list. I no. mean, it was totally off the radar. It's a mm-hmm. shh, off the radar place. Shh, um, shh. But when we passed through it <laughs> going to the United States, we just fell in love with it, and then yeah. we came back, spent more time found love with it. Uh-huh. Our lease was up, we moved here, and we absolutely love it. Yeah. However, I do love Quebecco. That's yeah. one of my favorite yeah. places, yeah. too. And we're loving San Luis Potosí oh, as well. So beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. I mean, we, well. we, San Luis Potosí was not on our original rotation. At all. Right. And we had to actually make a decision because of some things that we just didn't feel comfortable traveling to the, what was going to be the next city. And so we substituted San Luis Potosi 
and got here and went, wow, wish yeah. we had more time here. Mm -hmm. But because of the way that we plan, we've already got the next year mm -hmm. booked. I mean, as yeah. far as our Airbnbs and so yeah. the money's down and everything else. So yeah. we got to follow the schedule. Yes. Yes. So yes. when you found your house, mm -hmm. what was it about the house that you said, this is the place? Well, after 32 houses that we looked yeah. at, or 33, yeah. um, I like to entertain a lot, so I wanted that open concept, which you can't always find in Mexico. Mm -hmm. um, and so I had that open concept with my kitchen and my living room where I could entertain. That, that stole my heart. For him? For me, I wanted outdoor space, but I realized I wasn't really going to get that here in Mexico. So the next best thing was a rooftop patio. With the view. Uh, oh, yes. With the view. It's always good. And so we found, so we found our house, like 32 houses later, um, and it fit most of our criteria. Not not all, but it's it's uh, more modern than what we wanted. Yeah. I really wanted that yeah. older Mexican style with the arches and mm -hmm. the floor that they have yeah. in their house. Um, but you know, I mean, you're never going to get exactly what you want. Right. You're going to have to settle compromise whatever mm -hmm. and so that's what we did and we could have i mean we could have bought an older house and, and done some remodeling but by the time you do that it cost you as much or more than that you know than our newer house did um and then the other thing we found is that like older homes in mexico they're fairly compartmentalized like yes. the kitchen right. will be its own separate mm -hmm. space yes the living room will be its own yeah, separate know. space dining room and, and stuff and we like Paulette and I like open spaces. Mm -hmm. um, That's not colonial. Yeah. No, it's not. Okay. So I'm going to start with our three daughters. Uh, we have, our youngest is probably the most reserved. And she really didn't want to talk about it. She, I don't think she wanted us to come. I think more because of the unknown. Mm -hmm. You know. Mm -hmm. Uh, one of the children says, oh yeah, that's you guys. Yeah, have at it. Mm -hmm. We can see you doing that. Yeah. I can't remember what the third one said, but wasn't against it. Yeah. If this is gonna make y'all happy, go for it. That's awesome. You know, now yeah. my sister got very quiet. And when my sister's processing things or doesn't agree with things that's what she does right and um, then my mom looked at us because we told him when we were at the beach my mom just went well I know you two if you have done the research that I know you have done on it yeah have fun Don't and worry. then my yeah. sister this is funny because my sister and I were really kind of separated um, in our teens Mm -hmm. And she ended up moving to and has lived in Michigan for quite some time now. So I never got to see her. Neither one of us are phone people, so we don't talk on the phone. But we'll, we'll mingle, mm -hmm. mingle, yeah, mingle, we'll mingle. You're going to mingle again? <laughs> I'm mingling, mingling, meandering and lingering. We're mingering on Facebook. Uh, she calls me. We spoke for three hours on the phone about us moving to Mexico. She wanted to know everything oh, about wow. it. Mm -hmm. Everything. She wanted to know everything. Three hours. Now, now folks, let me, ex talk. let me explain this to you. In all the time that we have been together, she hasn't spent three hours total on the phone with her sister yeah. previous to this conversation. Wow. It's true. But my coworkers and some of my, cat my general social friends were like, but you could... There's danger there. Kidnappings, yep. crime, blah, 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 blah. Why? You shouldn't do this. Why are you doing this? And, and now they're kind of either quiet mm -hmm. or they're watching. Mm -hmm. And now I have friends asking. In fact, mm -hmm. I have some friends uh, that we're going to be spending some time with at a music festival not long from now mm -hmm. who have been watching what we do very tentatively. Awesome. And they actually spent three months with their children just bouncing around a few places in Mexico just to try it out. Mm -hmm. oh, cool. And they want to come. They awesome. want to move. That's cool. Yeah. Mm -hmm. wow. I, I think for us, I mean, our, 
our relatives were basically supportive. I, I mean, I had a couple of friends that, you know, gave me this story. Oh my God, I can't believe you're going. You'll be dead 10 minutes after you cross over the border <laughs> or much. kidnapped or held for ransom or something like that. And oh, by the way, I'm not the ransom person. Don't call um, me. <laughs> don't call me, yeah. I think that's a lot of people's reaction that have never really visited mm -hmm. Mexico. They really don't. They really don't understand Mexico. I mean, you. All you know is what you read in the papers or see on the news. And that's what right. they and, want and to show right. And, and yeah. that is so erroneously fed. Mm -hmm. and, and I intentionally believe and intensely believe that this is intentional because it is to distract people from realizing how bad things in the states are. Mm -hmm. So look how bad it is in Mexico. Mm -hmm. It's not, it, you know, we're not, we're not mm -hmm. in a bad shape. Look at them. And they are so bad. Yeah. Flip that around. We sit down here and go, glad we're not up there. Yes. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. And, yeah, and, it, and it's so funny because we watch the news, um, our local news over there still. And we that's exactly what we say. Oh my gosh, I'm so glad that we're And it's there. funny though because we can go to a concert, we can go to a park, we can have a thousand people, and we don't have to worry about nobody coming here and stabbing me or, or we were not even doing that anymore, you know? Mm -hmm. Before the COVID, we started going to concerts again mm -hmm. and then COVID came. And then when COVID was kind of gone or lifted, mm -hmm. we didn't want to go anywhere because we're not chicken, but I go, what's the point of going, having a good it's time? It's so random. Mm -hmm. And then yeah. you don't know who, you know, talk. Mm -hmm. Right, in the malls, theaters, mm -hmm. restaurants, churches, schools, churches, 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 churches yeah. anywhere. Walking down the street, I mean, in Vegas, mm -hmm. the guy just went and randomly so started people. stabbing oh, people no. on the strip. For no reason. And, yeah. yet, and yet we could go two blocks down the street here and go to a hard day. Yeah. And entire families are out enjoying themselves. Yes. Mm -hmm. And it's oh, like 11.30 at yeah. night and you can walk any of these streets in this neighborhood. We have. Mm -hmm. Yes. And mm -hmm. what happened yesterday? Mm -hmm. We and him are looking at a car. This never happens over there, okay? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And the lady saw that we were From totally admiring home. a 1932 car. And I kept on telling From him, outside it's the 1930 gate. and this car might house. be 1950 <laughs> or 60. In the she gate. comes and goes, we have a 1966 Volkswagen inside. You want to come see it? I'll put the yeah. dogs in. That never happens yeah. over there. I mean, yeah, it's like, well, what it's, are you doing looking mm -hmm. at my house? Yeah, or looking at my right. yard. Right. Or yeah, somebody right. would come out and call on the cops. Yes. Yeah. 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 yeah, and that's the thing. That's, you know, it's, I feel safe here. And I know a lot of people in my family, some of them were okay, you know, saying, we want to move somewhere. We're thinking, because they know they can't stay in, in retirement mm -hmm. in California. There's no way. <laughs> right? So, we're making the move. A lot of our friends, our family, are waiting to see what's happening with us. Mm. Yeah. Mm. And yeah. then, and they also, come too. you know, before deciding on Mexico, I mean, and before all of this, for a few years already, I have been researching every state in the U.S. Yes. for you know future oh, retirement, right. and you know, I went through every state, and then uh, you know, so then when we made the announcement that we're moving to Mexico. It's like, well, wait, why aren't you, why don't you just move to, uh, you know, North another Carolina. state in, mm -hmm. in, in the States? And yeah, so North Carolina was one of our, our places we loved a lot. And it's like, well, actually where I'm at, I'm a lot closer. Than flying to yeah. North Carolina. Yeah. You know, right. I'm a lot closer <coughs> here in Mexico than if I were in North Carolina. Oh, yeah. So what difference would it make? Right. Yeah. Yeah. Right. What, what is the difference? Mm -hmm. And I mean, you know, I mean, I get it. It's a border, but it's yeah. it's just, it's just a line. It's the same dirt. We're on the same <coughs> dirt. There's an invisible line that goes <laughs> right. right. You don't have to go through a river. It's just yeah. a border. Yeah, yeah you right. know. Yeah. And so, to me, that was, you know, that was the comeback because a lot of people were like, well, why not just stay in the states and go uh -huh. to the east coast? It's like, well, why? It's that's even yeah. further. Yeah. If, if yeah. it's like you're gonna well, miss it'd me. It'd be different. So we say we're gonna Europe. You know, mm -hmm. right. yeah. in Europe, we're staying in North America. <laughs> or yeah. Portugal. Yeah. Yeah. Portugal was up there, too. My yeah, Portugal former, was up there for us, too. Mm -hmm. But it was too far. Yeah. My former manager, my, the job that I wanted to leave so bad, she made an effort of photocopying an article from a magazine of the best places in the United States to retire. Yeah. And gave that to me. And then she would say, I really wish you weren't leaving. Mm. But she was trying to show me alternative places yeah. right. in the States, right. Right. just like right. what you're right. saying. Yeah. No. Right. It doesn't compare, guys. It no. really doesn't. No. <laughs>
it, and the it freedom really sucks and the here. peace no, no. Yeah. that's yeah. here. But the freedom, also the freedom, mm. you know, you don't get that over there. The, um, the, the total yeah. lack of a nanny state is a huge influence down here. You don't have a regulation for everything. No, yeah. that's right. And, you know, that makes a huge mm -hmm. difference in quality of life yes. because you're not having... Now, granted, the rules they do have might work over here for a little bit, mm -hmm. but they may not be over here. I mean, it, exactly. it, it's everything is sort of up in the air, but the biggest thing is, is everybody treats everybody else with kindness. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And that's sort of the, the law of the land is just be nice to one another yeah. and we can all make this work. And guess what? It does. It mm -hmm. It's working. Yeah. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and guess what? I don't see the cops in freak out when I'm driving. I feel safe with the cops. Everybody says, yeah. oh, there's corruption. They never bug me. They never bug you know? us either. No. Um, no. They're nice to me. I can ask questions and they can kindly tell me mm -hmm. without an attitude or mm -hmm. try to tell me with a flash. I would, uh, it's, it's weird. Yeah. You, you, you wave at them and they yeah. wave back. I mean, yeah. it's, yeah. you know, it's amazing. Really? I feel yeah. safe with the cops around here. I don't know how to explain it. Yeah. People think oh, everybody's corrupted. No, it's not. I feel yeah. scared over there. Right. Oh, oh. Because well, they, so, so Brit, how about this? How do you feel when you see the National Guard rolling by when they're all holding their I'm, I'm loving it. Yeah. yeah. doesn't bother me. I feel no. safe. It doesn't it bother it. me out at first. Uh, of course, I was like, yes, yeah. I'm like, what the hell? You know, this truck with all these people we'll driving there with their guns. Yes. I'm yes. kind of yes. like, ah. Oh. But that's just the norm. And yeah. driving with their lights on is the norm. Yeah, yeah. That doesn't mean that they're pulling you over. No. Nope. No. No. Nope. Just what nope. they do. Yeah. How long ago was your move here? November, and right now it is May. May. Six May. months. Six, Six months. May. And so. you guys are on what? Temporary? Yes. Residency? Yeah, we're temporary. temporary, and we got the one year coming up that we'll be renewing in November. So. Mm -hmm. yep. And you have so. your car. That's and we why have that. That's why we're going to stay temporary because of the whole four year plan. Right. We need the vehicle. We actually need a bigger vehicle, but we, we have the vehicle so, so that we can, oh God, a lot of stuff, um, so that we can do this massive trip mm -hmm. all the way around mm -hmm. the Mexican countryside. So to be clear for people watching this six months or a year from now or whatever, you moved in November of 2022. 2022 it's now May of 2023. Uh, May of 2023. Right. Mm -hmm. We moved on January 7th. We went to Guadalajara because of our dogs. Uh -huh. Alaska would mm -hmm. take us to so there. We, we landed. Straight. Mm -hmm. So it's January 7th is when January we January 7th when we came. And this okay. is May, so they haven't been here very long. January 2023. Four, no. four months for them. And they have yeah. a home already. Home, a car, a bank account. Up. Furniture. They, yeah. they had some of their furniture. They had their bar and some furniture yes. actually made for them. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And, and they, and they rock. A local carpenter. And you guys are temporary, both temporary. of you, right? Yes. Because yeah. you have your car also. No. No, 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 we bought, we bought a car here. Oh, that's right. That's right. Yeah, okay. They had a busy okay. first month. Bought yeah, a house, bought a car, got a bank account. Wow. That was in one came. month. Wow. We hit we the floor already. We didn't have a break at all. That's we that. came, we saw, we conquered. That's it. Yeah. Yeah. it like that. <laughs> and then Mark and I, we're going on, uh, it'll be four years in November. Right. Wow. We moved here for in November of 2019. Mm -hmm. so, yeah. Yeah. And you're permanent. Yeah, I am. He's permanent. I'm temporary because mm -hmm. we have our car. Yeah, oh, okay, and but okay. but in November I will go um, permanent, so I have to drive my car out to Texas, sell it, come back, buy a vehicle here. Mm -hmm. So that's our plan. Okay. All right. So our next question is: Does anybody have any regrets about no. moving to no. Mexico? Uh huh. I wish one had been earlier. We didn't do. We didn't do it earlier. Yeah. 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 Yes, that's that, the, that only the only one. one. Well, you had 16 years to think about well, it. <laughs> well, yes, but yeah, absolutely no regrets no, on no, the move, no. and just every day that goes by, it just confirms that we mm -hmm. made the right yeah. decision. And the advice: try to do as soon as you can, because the sovereignty goes up. Yeah, every yeah, year. That, that's. If you're thinking about it, do it. Yeah. And I do have another advice. Mm -hmm. When it comes, if you're thinking about it or you're, yeah, if you're thinking about it, start purging. Oh, Don't need yes. to, it's really Absolutely. stressful to do it so, you know, 
in that crunch of time when you're yeah. going through yeah. your residency and, and all of that. Because so it's stressful. It's so if you do it, the sooner the better. Right. So if you're already thinking that yeah. you know you want to do this and eventually you're going to do this, just start purging. I mean, start those yard sales. <laughs> the, the, the biggest advice I would give anybody, if, if this is even a kernel of an idea that you may want to do this because of the ever-rising um, solvency requirements mm -hmm. get an appointment at the consulate in 2023 yes. Yes. get your get the visa take a Mexican vacation come down get your residency card mm -hmm. you'll get it for a year you can go back home yep. life goes on is it, you know nothing's changed then the next year if you go we're still not ready Okay, you take another Mexican vacation, you go down and you get it extended for three more years. Yes. So you don't the, have to live here no. to have residence. No. That's no. correct. You don't. And if so, if this is a possibility, then I would say you definitely want to take care of doing the visa this year because it's going to go up again another 20% yes. for 2024. And by at the rate it's expanding right now, by 2025, it's going to be a requirement of five thousand dollars a month. Net. 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 Yeah. So per person. Per person. So yep. I would say if you want to do it, take advantage because it's already gone up from last yeah. year to this year, and if a lot. <laughs> if 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 money's not the object, then you don't have to worry about it anyway. Right. If money is one of the motivating factors. Yeah. You really should jump on it 2023. Yeah. yeah. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Purge and jump on getting your visa as soon as you can. Yep. Mm -hmm. I would add, learn some Spanish. Oh, God, yes. Oh, see. Yeah. Okay. Yes. See, these two, they speak some Spanish. Yes. <laughs> Not some. More than they some. speak Spanish. Yeah. yeah. Um, it's only going to make your life easier. And I say this, and I hang my head in shame. <laughs> You're learning. Okay. Because I, I just don't have time. That's my fault. But yes. Let, let, me, let me explain this a little bit. Not only learning to speak it, learn to understand it when yeah. you hear it. Because that, to me, is the hardest part. Because A, it comes rapid fire. I mean, they speak quick. Yes. So your favorite, you know, phrase that you should learn first is, hablas despacio, por favor. Yeah. You know. Because that's basically saying, please speak a little slower. You know, and I no escucho muy bien because um, I can't hear very well. But that you know, learning to hear it so that you can respond properly is every bit as important as learning how to speak it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. No, and it, and I'm going to say it probably doesn't matter what you use. Some people will say Duolingo is horrible. Some people will say Babbel is horrible. You've also got Pimsleur. You've got Rosetta Stone. You've got mm -hmm. Rocket Languages. Look, just pick one. Mm -hmm. Just start. Start somewhere. And stick with it. Yeah. And then if you want to get a live tutor, great. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. You know, um, I speak some Spanish. I, my Spanish is not as fluent as it should be. She, she's a lot more fluent than I am. And when we're doing transactions on the phone or customer service mm -hmm. with the bank or wherever, what you're saying, I mean, it's, I really struggle and I'm just being very honest mm -hmm. and transparent. You know, mm -hmm. we're not here just like, oh, it's no problem. No, no, no okay. it, it's a learning curve mm -hmm. and a struggle for me too. When I'm hearing them on the phone and they're speaking so fast, mm -hmm. I'm just like, and she takes care of all of that, and I'm so happy. But I still have some issue with some of the words, because mm -hmm. even though I speak Spanish, I speak a different dialect. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I don't know the slang from here very well. And some words I've forgotten, but I'm, I'm relearning mm -hmm. them, you know? But yeah. it's, so, it does I help mean, a lot in Spanish. It, yeah. yeah, we know Spanish, but it's not any, I mean, it may be less of a challenge, but it's still a challenge. Mm -hmm. yes. So I just wanted yeah. to put that in. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, and if you're in a location that doesn't have a huge um, Canadian, U.S. expat community, well, now you're dealing with people who don't speak English that readily. And now you're going to have a bit of a struggle. I do recommend yeah. watching Spanish TV. 
and the news. Yes. Spanish I, news helps a lot. And look at the lyrics of Spanish songs uh -huh. on Spotify. <laughs> there you right. go. No calmas. <laughs> and we we both um, subtitle our videos yes. in Spanish too, so yes. you could watch Spanish awesome. subtitles mm -hmm. on this video and hopefully pick up something. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Now we picked up that from Gringos R Us. Gringos yes. R Us. Yeah. Doing the subtitles. Yeah. Right. Right. None of the questions that we had, and I think a couple of things have been touched on, but did we hear anybody look at countries other than Mexico? Yes. Yes. Well, you guys talked about. We talked about. Um, you know, Portugal. Portugal. We also talked about in the U.S. <laughs> yeah. yeah, you yeah. know, the and the U.S. Mm -hmm. moving yeah. out of California and staying with them. Mm -hmm. yeah. country, you know. Mm -hmm. But we looked at Portugal and. But just it didn't last long because <laughs> just the ocean, you know, it's too, far. too far. It's too far. Too far. Something you have to see our family. We want to stay close, close to home. Mm -hmm. yeah. You know, to our family. Right, and that was the same thing for us. Mark and I knew that we were going to move abroad, mm -hmm. and that's why we went to Spain. In Portugal to check it out. Then we went to Ecuador twice, mm -hmm. and then we came to Mexico, and that was it for us. Mm -hmm. We knew that it was going to be Mexico. Like they said, Portugal and Spain is way too far. If you needed to get back for any oh, reason, with layovers and everything, it's yeah. going to take you at least 24, 24 hours, hours to make it back to mm -hmm. the states. So that was a X right there. Mm -hmm. um, Ecuador. Uh, it was a long. It was also the same thing. It yeah. took 24 hours to get back to the states yeah. from there. Too. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But luckily for us, when we came here in 2018, I mean, we just mm -hmm. ah, the love that we just felt here mm -hmm. and the warmth, it just stole our heart. And yes. so we went back and we knew, that's yeah. it, that's it. And mm -hmm. so we stopped looking. Mm -hmm. That's it. Mm -hmm. I think um, we were pretty much set on Mexico, uh, mostly for the proximity to the United mm -hmm. States right. and the family. It really had a lot to do with it. I mean, if you can't get a flight, you can drive. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Mm -hmm. um, to give us. Very, very briefly, I kind of partially seeded the thoughts of maybe Malta. Oh. Mm -hmm. Okay, because they speak English in Malta mm -hmm. and it's Mediterranean, right? Okay. Yeah. Problem is, is Malta has a huge financial you requirement. You want to talk about oh. thinking qualifying for Mexico stuff? Uh -huh. Malta. Wow. I mean, Major. cost of living is really affordable in Malta, but to qualify to get to that point, you got to have some money. Yeah. Yeah. It, it, it's six figures. And the first one starts with a two. Oh my God! Mm -hmm. Per person. But the cool thing about Malta is, if you ever seen the Popeye movie, the set still that there. set is still there. Yeah. It's wow. an amusement park. Wow. Yeah, we we actually did <laughs> briefly tickle the idea, possibly Belize. Well, we did again um, because they speak they English. They speak English in Belize. Oh wow! Yeah. And we looked a little bit at Costa Rica, and all this was basically just doing computer research and what we ended up coming back to every time was we loved the Mexican people. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We had been here, they had basically welcomed us mm -hmm. and shown us such great appreciation that we're really sort of went, why are we even looking someplace right. else? Exactly. And, and, then, uh -huh. and that just, that we closed the book on that and away we went. Exactly. Mm -hmm. And well, let me say one other thing here is, in the United States, um, the friendliness and the openness, I think, to people that you meet is very standoffish. Wouldn't you say yeah. that? Oh, yeah. It is. Okay. And, and it also is kind of a regional and a community type thing. It's like the smaller towns, the more rural locations, they might be a little more open, right. a little more right. friendly. Mm -hmm. But then you the thing about being in Mexico is you can take your clothes to the Londeria. Next thing you know, the owner's inviting you over mm -hmm. to his house to meet his family mm -hmm. yep. uh, for dinner that mm -hmm. night. Um, it's just a whole different. It is. Mm -hmm. It's. I, I can't even explain it. Can you guys kind of well, go into I that? actually oh. remember what happened when we had a car wash when we went to get to the bank. Um, I know. So anyways, <laughs> <laughs> so we, we went to the bank, right? You know, they always offer you, can I wash your car? So a right. guy goes, mm -hmm. can I wash your car for 60 pesos? Um, right. Yes. You know, 
so he washes the cars. After we're done and all that, I gave him a little tip and all that. And then he goes, you know what? Next time you come here, you should give me your number because I can invite you. I'm going to make oh. you some nice carne asada and oh, paella yes. and all that. Yeah. And we just met this guy. Yeah. Wow. He's giving me his number because he wants to invite me with him and his wife to their house mm -hmm. and the kids that way we can enjoy yeah. a, a asada. Mm -hmm. I mean, that doesn't happen wow. there. No. No. no, that would never no. happen There's in the United States. There's another big difference that I don't think we touched on, mm -hmm. but I, it's a huge factor for me, mm -hmm. for us, is the food. The oh, food God. is... Fresh. so fresh yeah. and um it's a world of difference mm -hmm. and yes. it's it, they don't gouge you for no. for this horrible food that they have in the states that's so overly processed um so that's something i really mm -hmm. enjoy yes. just being able to go i mean daily if we wanted to usually we'll just mm -hmm. go get for a couple of days you know but we'll get fresh fruits and vegetables mm -hmm. we eat it and it's you know, we go and we get mm -hmm. more, and it's mm -hmm. so affordable, and the meat is very fresh. I mean, that to us is a big yes. one as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. the quality of food here is amazing. It is. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It well, is. And, and the other thing that we we find is we actually walk more. Oh yeah. So yeah. the health the health aspect of it, just in the activity, you know, then you put on top of that healthier, fresher foods more exercise mm -hmm. you're not you you can't help but suddenly start to a feel better about mm -hmm. yourself yes and I mean, and then true. and then you throw on top of that the total lowering of the stress level mm -hmm. and we didn't really realize mm -hmm. how stressed we were on that side of the border it was normal until we got down here mm -hmm. and suddenly it was oh this is what's going on back in the state? Okay. Yeah. I mean, it, yeah. it, things, things that used to bother me or exasperate me and, and, and make me just want to scream at, at the TV, at somebody doing something stupid. You look at it down from down here and, and you're so removed from it oh, yeah. that you're just going, glad that ain't my problem. Yeah. You know, I mean, yeah. it, yes, we all have family still on that side of the border and are we concerned about how it affects them and their future? Course, yes. Mm -hmm. But I'm sorry. I can say that with a smile because I can sit down here and just go, it's not my problem. Yeah. Not my pig. The pace. Not, not my, my pig, 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 not my farm. Life. <laughs> yeah. It's, it's so much more comfortable here. The, uh -huh. Just the pace, the pace of life. Oh my God. It, I don't so, sweat the small things like this. Well, ask her, mm -hmm. I used to get upset all the time. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All the time. Now it's like, how do you ever. Oh, how about you know? this? Like a barking dog. <laughs> I remember 15 years ago, we were calling the sheriff because this dog was barking all yeah. night long in our neighborhood. Down here, you gotta be kidding. Yeah, no. That that's that's the music of the people. Mm -hmm. yeah. There's barking barking dogs everywhere, yeah. everywhere, and yeah. it's background noise. It doesn't yeah. bother it doesn't. us. Mm -hmm. It's just background noise. Yeah. What? I think maybe that's like in South America countries because I know Ecuador was like that too. Yeah, a lot of barking. There's dogs. a lot of barking dogs. Yeah, you just get used to it. You just get used to it. White mm -hmm. noise. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. Is, the yeah. fireworks. I mean, if yeah. that is the worst of it. Right? Yeah, I mean, you got, you got fireworks, barking dogs, and, and church bells. Yeah. yeah. Oh. Okay. Oh, and, and, and the little announcements as the jump truck, or the, <laughs> or the gas <laughs> truck, the, the gas truck. Yeah. or the water it's truck. It's Uber! Yes! Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But I'm doing it. I don't know what the... La Madora, estufa, <laughs> calora, whatever. I love it. I love it. I love it. This is the sound of old mattress pickup, and I believe they also pick up other appliances too that people have just thrown out. If you can just imagine, think of the good humor ice cream truck coming yes. through your neighborhood when you were a kid playing the dee 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 music, only now it's grown up version, yes. and they're selling you water, gas, mm -hmm. yes. or, 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 or watch your stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Your, yeah. your old you know, oven or whatever. Or, yeah. or, or, or if you want to even go back further, mm -hmm. if you can remember Barney Fife running for sheriff. sheriff. You know, with the, put the speaker on, on top yeah, of the, you know, yeah. uh, something like that. That's yeah. exactly how it is. 
Yeah. It's funny. We hear them every day. But yeah. I'd rather hear that than oh, yeah. gunshots. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. And that's another thing. Speeding cars. I hear, I hear the fireworks. It doesn't scare me. I know it's not a gun. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Over oh, there, you heard it. You go, mm -hmm. was that a gun? Because it always was. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, you Ooh, put it next door close. out. Was it in the gun? You hear the shootings? No, we don't have to worry well, about Well, what are you going to teach Annie right. Vet not to jump when the fireworks go off? <laughs> <laughs> she jumps. <laughs> Yeah, well, when we're in Centro and they're blowing them right next to us. Yes. You know, we're right next to the procession that, you know. I think some places in Mexico have more fireworks than others. Yes. Oh, San I don't Miguel. I is not well, one. No. And it's also Did San Miguel? Oh, my all God. All the time? Certain I had, I had a saying for San Miguel. They only fire fireworks on days that end in Y. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what? Yeah. I mean every day. Every day. Oh, every day. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, wow. That's true. Okay. Yeah. And and uh Cholula. Cholula, we visited Cholula. It was from the time you got up until nine o'clock at night. Yeah. You, you heard fireworks all mm -hmm. the time. It just you you kinda got used to it in that week yeah. that we were there. But um, you know, not every place is like that, but you know, and then pharmacies. I don't know if you guys have that in Connecticut or not, what? but a lot of pharmacies um, will play their boombox American music. music. No, we no, haven't no, no, I haven't noticed that. Huh. Awesome, yeah. Man. One thing that I've noticed. Okay, so how about how about road rage? Uh, not really here. Doesn't no. really exist here. And we've been in Canetero where you are locked in traffic oh. and not oh, yes. moving anywhere. Yes. Oh. Nobody is honking their horn no. and getting all no. nasty with you. Well, hold on, whoa, whoa, whoa. Nobody's honking their horn in Canetero. In Canetero, if you're in San Luis Potosí, yeah. they're going to honk the horn. Yes, they do. This is the first place we've they been do. in Mexico yeah. where they actually do honk the horn yeah. Yeah. in Mexico. Yeah. Yeah. Quite they frequently. Do. If if the light goes from red to green <laughs> Again, in we'll, three seconds <laughs> and you don't move fast enough, yeah. they're on the horn. It's yeah. it's yeah. wild. Yeah. I, I don't get it. But road rage doesn't develop no. from it. It no. just no. Goes, oh okay. No, no it, it's yeah. almost like a friendly hey. Yeah. Pay attention. Yeah. Yeah. You know. yeah. And then it just but. becomes a symphony of horns. Huh? <laughs> yes. Yeah, right? Yeah. I just, I was amazed by that, that I didn't hear a horn getting honked until we got here. Yeah. In six I mean, months. When, yeah. When, when we were going down to, to Arlene and Annie Vet's house, and we got stuck on um, Cinco Febrero Avenida, oh. yes. and we were on that road for about an hour to go 10 kilometers. Oh, yeah. Oh I mean, yeah. it was it was non-stop, bumper to bumper. Is because, that where the construction is? Yes, yes, yes. They're, they're digging up the that's entire... Right. And, 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 and it brought so, back memories of the DC Beltway. Oh, God, yeah. <laughs> I mean, you know, but but even even in dealing with that, they weren't hawking horns. No, no. Yeah. not at all. No. You know, and, and matter of fact, are... the, the biggest thing out of that is Another thing that, that endears us to Mexico is the work ethic because oh, somebody yes. took the opportunity to look at that and see all these people stuck out there and took a cooler and started walking around selling bottles yes. of water from car to car. Yeah. Mm -hmm. and, and that you don't see that in the U.S., but down here, if people see a situation that they can make money, they take advantage of it. Mm -hmm. Often you'll find um, seniors, and I'll put 50s in that group, 50, 60, 70 year olds, working at a grocery store, mm -hmm. bagging oh, groceries, right. yep. or they're okay. directing Only. they're directing you to the parking space, mm -hmm. or they're mm -hmm. rolling your groceries out for you and unloading them in your car, mm -hmm. or you'll stop at a red light and somebody wants to sell you bath towels yes. yeah. or yeah. hats. Or, or wash your window. Whatever. Or Mario yeah. hat. Yes. Yeah. 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 Yep. They do yeah. that because they're that's how they're earning their right. money. They're right. not you getting a social people. security check. They're you not don't see homeless people. You're no, you don't. Yeah. And you don't you see don't. homeless people no. because they work so hard. Their mm -hmm. work ethic is such mm -hmm. that they will do whatever they have to do mm -hmm. to earn mm -hmm. some money. Mm -hmm. And that sense of family. Mm -hmm. yes. People take care of their family. Yeah. So grandma's living in the house with the mom and dad and the kids. 
and they're taking care of yeah. each other. Yeah. And that's yeah. common. In. That's common. And everybody pitches in. Yeah. Even grandma yeah. pitches in a home. I everybody haven't seen homeless in. people yet. Have I seen poor people down on yes, their luck? Yes, course. I have. Mm -hmm. yes. Mm -hmm. Sometimes you'll see them outside of a church mm -hmm. and they're just sitting there with a little can to collect yeah. some coins. Mm -hmm. Or the yes. lady in Centro, you know, she's blind. Yep. Mm. But she sits out there with yeah. her karaoke machine and she sings yeah. all day. Yeah. Any day we're going to Centro, yeah. she's there early singing. to late, she's with her little machine and she's, she's singing. singing her heart out. Mm. Mm -hmm. So yeah, and in she's some ways, getting her tip. It's mm -hmm. busking. I mean, yeah, they're doing whatever they can do. Mm -hmm. There was so that guy at Christmas at the stops. Yeah. yeah. Christmas time, we were in Querétaro. How many people were standing there dressed in costumes oh, God. for photo ops? Yep. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, you take a picture with somebody in this country, you're kind of expected to give them some money for yeah. the opportunity to take that photo. Mm -hmm. Right. You know, because yeah. they're dressing for that reason. Yes. Yeah. 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 Earn some money. And, yeah. and the other thing is. They start early, and I don't yes. mean time-wise, I'm talking age-wise. Yes. Yes. We noticed that today when we were standing outside of a church that there was a tent that was selling comida, yeah. and this young man, probably eight, yes. eight, eight, nine eight. years old, yeah, yeah. Maybe. they give him the mic, and he is, ha he is hawking the food and telling everybody what's available yeah, yeah. and how rico it is rico. And, and, and somebody's got to say it suave anyway <laughs> um, but but you notice that and when he was older there's it starts even younger yeah no i know yeah. i mean but you go to food stands mm -hmm. and you will see the children yeah are involved we always yeah. And, and Rosticeria. Mm -hmm. Our lady always had her little baby there. Mm -hmm. yes. Baby was always Even there. Even the window cleaners, yep. we've seen a mom and her like five year old, you know, and they're up on the it's car so doing cute. the. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And but it's, they're doing it. And this is the problem that have, I've seen in the United States when you talk about that. Oh, there's child slavery. No, it's not. Because I was raised in a third world country in Argentina and I was working because I wanted to work mm -hmm. at 19 year old. You know why? Because all my friends were working at that age. And it's fun. And that's why I love when I see people doing that here because you will never be down on your luck. You will always work. Even if you're down on your luck, you're going to go out always there and be. make money. You know? Yeah. And that's what I love about yeah. about this culture. Most Latin countries are like that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And, and, they're, and they're respectful of the people who are doing that. Yes. Yeah. Particularly it, the older people. Mm -hmm. We'll be sitting in restaurants like we were in San Miguel. And there'll be these older ladies just walking around with a basket of stuff, and they will oh, walk yeah. into restaurants. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Do the restaurant tours throw these people out? No, no, no. Mm -hmm. no. They allow them to go to all their guests at all the tables yeah. and sell whatever little treats this woman mm -hmm. has. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and that's awesome. Yeah, that's mm -hmm. why I love this culture. That's why we're here. <laughs> <laughs> well, that sort of brings us to the next question: What was the easiest thing you found to adju adjusting to life here? And then we will go to the opposite. What was the hardest thing about adjusting? But what was the easiest thing about adjusting to life here in Mexico? For me, not being pounded with news 24-7. Yes. You know. Mm. That's a good one. I'm yeah. sitting here thinking how hard of a question that is, and that's a perfect example. Mm -hmm. yeah. well, thank you. Oh, yeah. arriving, it was like we exhaled. Yeah. Yes. Mm. You know, so it, there was nothing hard. Um, and... I mean, it, I, mean it, I mean, it just, everything about it was easy, and it felt like home. Right. It as soon as like we home. we came. And I mean, not only because mm -hmm. of my family background, I didn't, you know, and I have visited over the years, but I haven't lived here. Right. I am ra born and raised over there. That's all I knew. California. Other than, you know, a few Mexican trips. It was so easy, so comfortable, and it just feels like home. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. And I gotta say that exit. that's the same thing for us too. It just, I mean, it just felt so right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yes. You know, to be able to call this my home. Mm -hmm. I mean, yes. I, I tell you what, even today, almost four years later, I feel so blessed that mm -hmm. Mexico let me mm -hmm. come here. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, honestly. Yeah. We, we feel so honored that we were allowed to be guests mm -hmm. in this country. Absolutely. Yeah. I, um, I think the easiest thing that we have found is actually the ability to make quality friends has been so easy that's true. down here. 
because we have met so many like-minded people and welcoming and friendly people that have enriched our lives and it's not been difficult they it's just been boom and that i'm going to say is the easiest thing that we have found that has really enriched our lives. Well, and let me add to that. We're not just saying that because we're sitting here with a bunch of other expats. No. No. We've made Mexican national yes. friends. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Who are friends for life. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. 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 Truly. We're new in our neighborhood. And we lived in our other home for 16, 16 years. years. We can count how many times we spoke to the neighbors. Oh, wow. We can, I mean, yeah. it... We're just like the wall is was the wall and that mm -hmm. that was it, you know. And here we've been here so five months, few months that Four we've months been in our we, home. Mm -hmm. Our neighbors have come to you know um, you greet us. And, the and neighbor across the street us. gave us the key, you know. Mm -hmm. um, so it's, so it's what it called dog is for dog. Luther, Luther. Yeah. Luther. 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 Shout out to Luther. I mean, it's I mean, amazing. I mean, I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm, but I mean, it just really is welcoming. The other guy, even though they're kind of quiet when we spoke, but if you ever need anything, mm -hmm. let me know. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. You think, know, um, the easiest thing for me was not hearing the twenty-four-seven newsreel. Yeah. yeah. See, he, right, this guy right here, who's wait, what, what, Mark, huh? I don't know who she's talking about. He about. would have the news on all day. That was oh, me. And that, was she. that was me. And in our bedroom all oh, night. Mm -hmm. Now, that was me. me, you know, I typically don't get anxiety. But I'm working in a job I was stressed out about. Our pets were sick, and he's got this crap on all the time. Oh. And, and it just... It, That's enough to stress it, you it out. It just totally... It, it eats away at your oh. soul. Yeah. And I couldn't yeah. take it anymore. Yeah. Do I miss that? Oh, honey, no. 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 The question is, does he miss it? Do you miss it? I really don't miss it. I mean, I wanted to be up with what's going on. Cause I'm always but it's wanting. constant. It was constant. constant. Oh. It was constant. Yeah. Now, I... Like I said, and just to tell you the truth, I've been here for four months. After a couple months ago, after last week or two weeks, I think I'm releasing and mm -hmm. that I've been getting I've been getting issues with my face mm -hmm. that I get it's pain. A nerve. Like break out like no no nerve. it's, it's no, like it's a it's nerve. A nerve. Mm -hmm. it's but a I nerve. think it's because now I'm finally relaxing oh, yeah. and right. I'm not like this all right. the time. Yeah. Right, right. And I don't miss it. I mean, I thought I was gonna miss, you know, being watching the news all day and that and all that. I don't miss it. I mean, there's, there's other things busy. to do. That. There's other so things many to do. other things to do, right? Yeah. Than just yeah, yeah. taking right. taking a walk to Central. That's what we yeah, do. You, you've got right. time to do mm -hmm. other things, mm -hmm. to enjoy life, to enjoy people. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, we don't even watch the TV. Yeah, we really? have not. We have no. been here almost a month, and we have not turned the TV on yet. Wow. In mm -hmm. San Miguel, I think we turned it on. Super Bowl. Three, four times. The Super Bowl and then a couple of times for um, the March Madness. Yeah. But it was for sports and, and, was, and that, was, that was it. We don't watch TV. Mm -hmm. yeah. We just don't. That's awesome. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And that, that's been one of the biggest improvements. Mm -hmm. yeah. I'm trying to think, what was the other half of this question? What's the hardest thing about mm. adjusting? Okay, I'm back to the Spanish. I'm back to the Spanish and then... I hang my head in shame. <laughs> For me, the Spanish is hard. I learn it, and like I'm like on a roll doing it like every day for like an hour until I can't take it anymore. And then, and then like I don't know. Then I get busy and I do something, and then four days goes by, five yeah. days goes by, and I get an email from Duolingo saying, "Are you ready to practice? Mm -hmm. We haven't heard from you. Are you ready to practice? You want to practice?" Mm -hmm. And then. You know, if I don't do it right then and then, I forget again. But my problem is retaining it. That's my problem. I don't know. I don't think I have short-term memory like, uh, what was that movie? What about Bob? <laughs> but I do, I do have a problem on remembering it. Like I, I tried, like you were saying, like just learn like two words a week two or words. something. Two, yeah. You know, and just focus on that. Yeah. Um, unfortunately for Mark and I, it's like everybody that we know speaks English. Right. So that's our Mexican hard. friends. So then they just automatically speak English. They know it so well. 
yet we just don't even go there with the Spanish. Right, right. So then I'm really not practicing it, you mm -hmm. know, so it's You like, use yeah. it or lose it. That's it. Yeah. Yes, yes. Oh, it took me all day long to learn the word for ice cream, and I'm not even kidding. And all, all day. All day long. I kept saying it wrong all day, and there were several four-letter words that kept coming out of my mouth. <laughs> but at the end of that day, I finally knew it was helado, but it Lotto. took all day yeah, for me to remember the word. It's, it's like, hard. You know, it's hard. Mm, there's the hard thing, um, you know, but obviously you, we move past it because we're here, but there is a part of this planning to move abroad mm -hmm. where you get, you can get paralyzed by the unknown. Yes. Mm -hmm. You know why you're going, you know what you want, you know what you're expecting, right. you know you know what your plan is, mm -hmm. but there's this little wall of fear, this little of the unknown. Yeah. Just that, because yeah. you can picture it this uh -huh. way, mm -hmm. what if it's not that way when I get right. there? And how are and how am I gonna do this? And I'm gonna be mm -hmm. brand new. And we don't know anybody there. And all, all of that. What all if it fails? Yeah. All of That's that. So yeah. all of that is very real. I mean, mm -hmm. I can speak for us. I mean, yeah. even though we had a plan and we're about just doing it. And once we have a, our mind on something, we do it, we take care of business and it's done. Mm -hmm. nice. But before we get there, there is that little wall of you guys what saw is, the, the picture fear of the unknown. We were leaving the last day. I was, I was petrified that day. I was so scared, yeah. even though oh, I was really? excited. Yeah. Because was you're so, so busy yeah. in the purge and in the paperwork and in the process, you don't give your time yourself that time to like feel those emotions. You're so busy. It's new. Everything is so new well, to you. So, yeah. so it's not that that was the hardest thing, but if, you, if you're not aware of that and you don't keep your eye on the prize, you don't stick to your plan in here, you can get paralyzed by that, well, and that, that, that can that's, be hard. That, that's, there's a term for that. It's called paralysis by analysis. Oh, well, there yeah. you go. Because okay. you analyze it too mm -hmm. much, right? and it paralyzes you because you keep going, well, I need to study this one more mm -hmm. time. Or mm -hmm. let me, what about this? What about this? What about mm -hmm. this? And so, you're never going to be 100% ready. Exactly. Right. So that, that is a hard thing, um, but it's not hard. Just do it. Right. Yep. But there's that... But it's maybe very least, real. Maybe at least a little bit of fear, like what does my life look like on the other side? Exactly. And how, how, well, and how I am I going to create it? I know yeah. nothing, and now I have nothing. Yeah. <laughs> you know? We sold everything. Yeah. <laughs> we have nothing, and now how are we going to build mm -hmm. this again? And how is all that going to mm -hmm. happen? So, um, you know, that is a very real obstacle. Mm -hmm. You know, it for me, it was there for, for me it was all the new things I need to learn to get what I needed. So new processes like, here. Like mm -hmm. my lights, my ID, like my bank account. Yes. Yeah. To buy Buying a car. car. I mean right. you need the escritura mm -hmm. to show that you know you own a house. Right. I don't know what escritura was before, you know? Yeah. I mean oh that's the hardest I part mean, for me. Basic but once you processes learn, yes. Yes. they yes. will be the same and they're not, they're not. Yes. They that was not. Our that's the difficult and, part. And, yeah. and the other part of that that makes it so difficult is you think that it's going to be the same Correct. all over the country. No. It's no. Not. It's not even the same from one side of the city to the, to other, the other side of the That's city. True. That's true. I mean, it, it's the, the only consistency is the inconsistency. Yeah. Even from banks. That's what I'm saying. You go from to one to area in the bank, you see seven banks and they all have different things that they have uh, requested. Uh -huh. <laughs> oh my gosh, we had those conversations. Yeah. 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 No, no. So, you know what I'm saying? So it's, the, yeah. The, the biggest, the biggest mm -hmm. or hardest thing I think for me is our lifestyle. Mm -hmm. It's exciting at, and at the same time, the constant movement. It's exciting when we get to a new place and everything else, but then when it's time to pack the car again yeah. and go, <laughs> yeah. that it, just suddenly becomes, and then you have 44 stairs <laughs> to carry all the... 45. 45. 45. 45. 49. Whatever. 49. What, well, I'm not going to say the word, but all that <laughs> crap has to go down there and get uh -huh. into the car, yeah. and then off we go again. So, um, yeah, it, it's exciting, and at the same time, there's no roots. Mm -hmm. um, and so it's sort of like an in limbo. For you guys. For us. For, for us. Right no, no, no. I'm saying that's... For, yeah. You know, for the, you the hardest right thing now. for us is, is that is the the nomadic style right is is it's a it's wearing 
it's yeah. you know it's a blessing I, I, yeah. and know, a curse. The interesting thing though is that both he and I moved around a lot as children, mm -hmm. a lot. Yeah. And so it's not. Doesn't seem to be bothering me as much as it seems to be bothering him, but I think it's because it's getting harder to move those things. Yes, of course. You know, our age and and in this particular case, we're back we're, to we're, me being old again. We're on it. We're in a walk up. Th three floors. We're actually on a fourth floor because the bottom floor is the garage. Mm -hmm. So we're like four four flights up. But see, it's and funny they say that though because I'm the other way around. I moved so much countries when I was a kid. And I came out 14 years, I told my mom, I'm never moving out of the country again, I'm staying here. Moving to this country, to me, was a mess up with my mind, mm -hmm. because I thought I was done. That's mm -hmm. why when we came here, I we were both, I wanted to just land. Mm -hmm. well, you know, it's weird because you would think by moving so much when you're a kid, you're used to that. Mm -hmm. No. Yeah. I'm not used to no, that. I'm like, we're not. It's a trip. Yeah. So, um, uh, I think that's our next question. Well, I was going to say, I think for Paulette and I, uh, it was important to have a home base, mm -hmm. too. Yeah, I, I, okay, these guys are trying to figure out where they want to mm -hmm. live. So, that's why. Yeah, we're, it's self-imposed on us. Mm -hmm. that, I mean, but I we, mean, but that makes sense, doing what they're doing to get an idea, to your plan. stay right. there, figure it awesome. out, move on to the next place, you know, yeah. and then. After a period of time, they're going to figure out, you know what, this place we really did like. Maybe we should go back there and right. check it out. Right. Maybe that is the place it's for just us. Just a smart thing to do. You know? Yeah. yeah. These mm -hmm. guys ended up buying a place like the first month that they were here. Okay? <laughs> so they are not nomads like these guys. No. no. Okay? And that's not for everybody. Right. I mean, everybody's yeah. got their own way on how they're going to do it. Right. For Mark and I, it was um, a year renting in Morelia, mm -hmm. six months in an apartment here. And then I didn't think we were going to buy that soon at all. I was mm -hmm. shocked, honestly, because I thought we still had more places to go to right. see before we made our decision like these guys. But I don't know. It, it stole our heart. Mm -hmm. Next thing I know, we're signing papers. We're buying a house. Yeah. And, but you know what? I needed that. I, mm -hmm. I needed that home home for yeah, me yeah, and you guys yeah. probably needed it yeah, too i, need it. I, I needed a place where i had my home mm -hmm. i could lay my head this is where i could still travel right you know well, plus but we this is so have two my... dogs that we came and with we a big wanna, dog mm -hmm. and a small, small dog, dog and you know right. even during the airbnb times it was, it was kind of traumatizing right. for them too so yeah. you know, the whole airplane yeah. and stuff so and besides you need a place to bring back all your souvenirs that you collect from oh, places yes. that you go Exactly. All of our suns and moons that we get from different oh places. Yes. And, um, now, the advantage of having the car packed as tight as it is, there are no souvenirs. Yeah. That's right. I, I promise you that I wish that I could, but I know that yeah. I can't. Yeah. So, well, I, I think once these guys pick a place where they're going to sell, lay it. their heads, it'll be a different story. Yeah, no, it but will for be. For now, no. It will be. And, and, and I know that the way that we are, even if we really, 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 really like a place, we're going to stick to the schedule. Mm -hmm. Right. Because we don't know if we're really, 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 <laughs> really like the next one even more. Right. So, you know, we, we can't. That's true. Mm -hmm. we, 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 we don't want to close the door on any opportunities until we have finished the whole tour mm -hmm. um, so that we can honestly sit down at the end of this and have the discussion and go, mm -hmm. You know, okay, you know, here's my list of five, here's her list of five, mm -hmm. and we pray to God that they're not ten different cities. Um, because then that's going to be a hard oh, decision. How, how are we going to do this? Yeah, but then maybe you go back and revisit, <coughs> right. revisit the places that you both like. Right. Yeah, mm -hmm. no. Uh, it'd be, and then, process you know, of elimination. Right. Yeah. Then narrow it down to five. Yeah. Right, and eventually it's it is our intention to buy. Yes, we'll right. buy. Right, mm -hmm. right. Just, just want to see where. Just gotta figure out where. Gotta figure where the anchor has to be dropped. Right. <laughs> so one last question, and I think we kind of hit on it a little bit. Um, how did we get here? I mean, did fly, drive? What did you do? Yeah, I don't know. we drove. It was five days of driving. Wow. Well. And, and, and to be honest on that, it, it was two hard, well, a, a day and a half of hard driving in the U.S. And then we 
came up with the idea and, and based on listening to YouTubers and everything else and and Sir Dragon X was great in helping us A get across the border and B giving us a lot of tips about you know you don't want to travel at night so what we basically did was anytime we are moving from city to city we try to limit it to no more than seven hours on the road to give ourselves enough time in the event that we get delayed we are still driving during daylight mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and that way we get into a city and you know we're able to be there while it's still daylight um and if, you can see the topes right you can yeah. see the topes yeah. and the cows yeah. and, the and the horses and the, horses. And the dogs and everything else right. that's on yes. the side of the road yes. and then um if it is longer than than seven eight hours we break it up into days and use the Alto Motelis. So that we can just pull the car right in, not have to unpack. And, you know, since we're doing this on weekends, we always have to get the double session so that we can be there overnight. That's it. And then, and then, and, and then wake up in the middle yeah. of the night and look out the window and they're still lined up waiting to get their rooms for their yeah. session. Yeah. So Wow. Yeah. So wow. that's a drive. And you mm -hmm. guys oh. We flew. Yeah. yeah. Oh. We flew when there was Well, we flew, but um the reason why we knew we were gonna fly. Well no, we did it. We <laughs> knew we had to get our two dogs over here safely. And we have big lady. And we have big. a seventy pound um dog and so we considered driving, but yeah. then, you know, a car, and we weren't trying to bring our car. Well, we sold our cars. <laughs> we didn't have a car. We sold all our well, cars you know, so. that was part of the plan to sell. So, we, you know, we weren't planning on bringing a car in, you know, flying, but the airlines were accepted dogs, but only up to 20 pounds. And so, but it also um, was a challenge for us to say, okay, we're going to be okay with putting them in the cargo. That was hard. That was a very yeah. hard decision because we really didn't want to do that, mm -hmm. but what are you going to do? And the yeah. big, um, big yeah. anxiety separation. Mm -hmm. So well. in looking at the airlines, you know, then, oh, it'll be easy. The dog, you know, so fine, we'll do that. But now they say, oh, but we only take dogs up to 20 pounds. So then we're like, well, Oops. now what are we going to do? But, you know, Alaska, Alaska Airlines um, accepted um, dogs up to 150 pounds. Wow. And the other thing we didn't want is to have our dogs um, through a, a layover. So right. it was important to us to get a direct flight. Because it was like six hour layover. And as you know, oh. you know, direct flights to Querétaro, you know, there's always a layover. So we're trying to think, well, maybe Mexico City and then drive in. Um, but but that Alaska doesn't go there. Doesn't go there. Mm -hmm. They closer than when it was to Guadalajara. So, but they did go to Guadalajara, and so it just worked out that mm -hmm. you know it was great to land there, and then we drove ourselves into. It's a beautiful it. drive. But you right. guys, honestly, you shared that with us, and what a nightmare. Well, yes, that's a video I mean, you talk all about itself. stress. That was probably like your biggest well, yeah. stress thing on leaving. Because I the think. person that was supposed to pick us up at the airport flaked out. So yes. we had to we, figure out what about right, the Right, but morning. then the whole thing with the dog at yes. the airport. Oh my God, that was I mean, your, that your was bags stressful. were too heavy and you forgot clothes. to tell us it was an embargo in yes. January, so December. So when you're planning this, find out if it's embargo. December and January is an embargo. Um, yeah. What does that even mean? Yeah. What does it that means mean? that they only allow, because it's a big heavy trip, they only allow so much weight and so many suitcases to go into the plane. Mm -hmm. We had to throw of, clothes yeah, that's away what they at the airport. To me. Um, because of the uh, amount of people that go in the plane and the amount of suitcases they put. So yeah. they're on the plane, I guess. So, uh, and then when we did land, you know, a driving service, they said they were going to come pick us up. I've been talking for two months after this. Yes, yeah. picking us, you know, showing our luggage, showing our, our everything we're going to bring, you know, and just trying to coordinate the size of a vehicle we needed and so forth. We kind of got stood up. So Not we kinda. did. <laughs> no, we, we <laughs> absolutely. We had to rent the car at one o'clock in the morning and figure out how to get to the Airbnb, never driving here. And mm -hmm. yes, it was never one o'clock in the morning. Time after being stranded that and was, that was it was scary and it was a very rough landing mm -hmm. 
but you know, then after things that, happen, and good. yeah, it and we made it after through. That, but oh man. yes, it was such a what a lot of stress. Though. It really oh was. Oh my god. Whew. But yeah. even just then, hearing their story, I was so stressed out. <laughs> Yeah. Well, the first time I, we told her, I remember her telling me, and do you know she Oh was, my God, I got so stressed just by reading your email. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I well, they out they to had emailed us because they were following our channel. Yes. Right. And we they, were six weeks behind you, I think. They had no, no cellular service. No. They couldn't pull up Google Maps. No. They wanted to know while they were in your Airbnb with Wi Fi, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. yeah. How to download an offline Google Maps so they could make their drive. From Guadalajara to Queretaro. And in case we lost service through there, and we I'm still reading, be I'm reading their entire traumatic experience yes. landing here, and I'm getting anxiety. <laughs> I it mean, does. it was insane what these two went through. It really yeah. was. It was. <laughs> it really was. But and they told us a story last night. Mm -hmm. And I was like, oh my God, I'm so stressed out just hearing this. I can't even imagine living through that. Yeah, no. I, I was praying, and praying, especially when I was looking for the Airbnb. They gave me defective Silverado, whatever SUV it was, because they kept on telling Suburban. me, Suburban, they kept on telling me, I have an issue with my tire. Oh. So I'm thinking, this tire's going to blow up. Oh. And we're going to. Two o'clock in the morning now. Yeah. Driving. In the dark. No signs oh. anywhere. I kept on missing the freeway. That was oh, yeah. right. Mm -hmm. All that. But it, it was, you know. Was, yeah, so <laughs> that might have been the hard part yeah. of the question. Yeah. You know, yeah, but the question for hard part. Yeah. yeah, that was rough. It <laughs> hasn't always been so. But even so, I mean, what, we pay our dues. So we so good it, now. And, and yeah, we just knew it has to get better. Yeah. So, in other words, things might not go according no, to your no, plans. No, no, no. And, and, and hearing, like hearing, this, for them. hearing the story repeated last night made me get the Baca bottle out because it was like. <laughs> I'm telling you. Whoa. I'm telling you, this has to write a book just on leaving and their oh arrival, what they've been through. It was, yeah. it was crazy. Yeah. But it seems like a long time all ago, worth thank God, it. so it's all it's worth it. Yeah. A million it. times. I would yeah. do it again if I And I'm just grateful that it yeah. all worked out. I can end up here. Yeah. You guys, mm -hmm. if I can end up here in this beautiful country, I would do that over and over. Even if I had to be rock. Maybe one more time. Because I'm moving the ground up. I'm moving one more time. Ground up. Ground so, up. Okay. Ground yeah, up. like yeah. that. I don't yeah. care. I, I, know. Know. I, I know you guys brought your car. Yeah. And your car's not as big as our car, so uh -huh. you didn't pack a whole lot in that car. How did no, that we trip pack, go? We pack, I'm good at packing. Let me tell you, every nook and cranny, I'll find a spot. Um, we packed the car. <laughs> yeah. We packed the car. So I packed pack, the car. I packed the car. Yeah. Because Mark's like, how are you going to get all that in the car? I'm like, I'll find a oh, way. Let me show you. I'll do okay. it. So, those of you who are familiar with the Jenga game, she packs like that. She gets it all Something in there. Works. I mean, it is packed tight. However, things have to come out now in a certain order, or the whole thing collapses on <laughs> itself. Well, and then, and then, uh, one of the times when we went through customs, they we got the red light. We oh, got yeah. the red light, uh, which means you got to pull over, and they can search your car. Oh, yeah. Wow! And that was really tough because yes. I don't know how it was going to get back in. Mm -hmm. You know, we had totes in the mm -hmm. car. So they wanted to go through the totes, they wanted, you oh. know, and it was like, oh, but we ended up like shoving it in and closing the door and... We also had those space saver bags where you suck all yeah. the air oh, out. You suck it oh. Of course, they yeah. want to look in there too, which means that the air expands, oh. so now well, then you, you have to get the... You can't suck it back out, out, you know, oh. I mean, here, we're all here. Uh -huh. so we wouldn't change it. We no. still have no regrets, do we? No, no regrets. I mean, even though you guys had some serious issues yeah. getting here. We survived, it made yeah. us stronger. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, there you go. Money. And ultimately the reason is because our lives have been so enriched mm -hmm. yeah. by coming here. Absolutely. Yeah. You know? All worth it. Yeah. It's all worth it. Absolutely. Yeah. So thank you for joining us today. Remember that we are Gringos R Us. Expats with a plan. And we're doing, doing it. it. You, you can, can too. too. And as always, from the two travelers in Mexico, what, what she, she did. did. Bye, everybody. <laughs> <laughs>